Set. This game is perfect for increasing confidence on the ball. When the gang had shown me what they could do, it was time for me to discover a Brazilian brand of football I had never seen before. Simon, you imported this game of football de Salon into this country. Could you tell me some of the background about it? Yeah, well, a few years ago, I was lucky enough to become friends with a Brazilian player, Janinho, who at the time was at Middlesbrough, and he did some coaching with me in Leeds. And after a while, he said to me, when do you do e football Salon? And I, I said, you know, what is football Salon? I'd never heard of it. And he told me that all of the players in Brazil play this as children. It's a compulsory part of the school curriculum. It's got great little touches, hasn't yeah. it? When I saw the game, I couldn't believe it. It's played on a small area, basketball court sort of size, just by the side. He's, an, he's, <laughs> he's an, got everything, hasn't he? Has, he? Yeah. So what, what different, what's the difference between a normal ball and this ball? Then? It's only a size two compared to the four or five we'd normally use. Yeah. And the bladder of the ball is filled with foam as well as air, so it doesn't bounce. So the game's just about passing, dribbling, close control. The kids get a lot more touches in, in this type of game. Well done, Kieran. Yes! It's obviously not as great for control from the air and uh, heading, volleying and what have you, but you pick up that in other parts of your training. But Even watching this, you can see the, the people, the players uh, wanting to pass and wanting to dribble all the time. So that's something that, that you don't see as much in our game at the minute as, as players taking people on. So it looks as if it, it encourages that anyway. I eventually went out to Brazil and met with Pelé, Zico, Rivellino, and all of these guys the same. Ronaldo too had just played this as kids and a tribute to all of their, their skills um, to the game. So the idea is keeping the ball along the ground? On the floor, exactly. I mean, like your, the, the famous five sides at Liverpool, I don't know if they still do them. Yeah, yeah. I suppose it's a similar idea that, as, as you've just said to me, all of the, the skills that you get in a game come out in this type yep. of environment and uh, it's a great way for kids to learn and a, and a fun way as well. You've seen football de Salon, now you're going to see mini soccer. The main difference being the size and weight of the ball. So this uses a size 4 junior ball and it's something the FA have, have tried to push with children. Um, getting the clubs of under 9, 10 and 11 to play on a Sunday rather than the 11 side game. And again, like football de Salon, they're getting more touches. It's probably not as strong as football de Salon on the passing and, and dribbling, but... I hope you got that one on camera, Joe. In this game, you can open up a little bit more on variety of shots, um, volleying, they can play longer passes. So this is really important as well. And uh, It's another game that brings great benefits to the kids. They shouldn't be too worried about winning these games, even on a, even on a Sunday for the clubs, because... Uh, that, all of that can come later, can't it? Yeah. That's right, I think uh, the winning after the game, you, you know, you, I think you've got to be disappointed if you do lose and you've got to go out trying to win, but I think the be-all and end-all is, is this is all being groomed for a, a player to, to actually make it in the end and, and that's when you, you know, you've got to be a winner when you're doing it for a living. Um, I think it's, it's nice to have that, that attitude, but as you say, the performance of the player is the main thing at this, at this level and this age. Go on your own. Yeah. <laughs>